Hey everyone, I'm Nina Zeta with Sidewalker Daily and in today's video, I'm gonna give you the exact tips to make the perfect Instagram bio. Now, I've worked on tons of different Instagram accounts as a marketing strategist. I've worked on hotels, tourism boards, but I've also worked with influencers, coaches, entrepreneurs, people that have personal brands. So I understand the importance from a strategic perspective of the Instagram bio. And in this video, I'm going to share all the tips that I have used with all of my different clients. Now, Instagram bios are super important. If you're using Instagram, to make money, to you know, monetize your business, whether you're a brand or a personal brand, then your bio is really your first impression. If you look at Instagram almost as like just real estate, the photo at the very bottom where you have to scroll takes a long time to get there, but your bio is the first thing anyone sees when landing on your page. So we really like to think of the bio almost as like your elevator pitch or your mission statement. It should let the person that comes onto your page know really quickly what you stand for. Um, and now I'm going to jump into some exact tips that I think will help take your Instagram profile to the next level and make sure to stick around to the end because every tip is equally as important. And if you guys are into social media marketing content, definitely subscribe to our channel. We release videos every week and you're definitely not going to want to miss them. So let's jump in. Now for my first tip to have the perfect Instagram bio, let's start with something that isn't even in the text form. Let's start with your profile picture. Now, if you're using Instagram as a personal brand, like an entrepreneur or a content creator or an influencer, then your profile pic is super important. Um, you know, I always say invest in headshots whether you need to take them yourself or you get them done, having a solid headshot and having something that is recognizable will help you know, help you stand out. The biggest and most important thing with your profile photo is that it's the same across all social media platforms. This is a must. Um, this is this can also be for brands. So it's not for people on just the person that are using Instagram in a personal way. Um, it's for brands as well. Make sure your profile photo, whether it's your logo or your face, I don't care what it is. I just want it to be the same on everything. And this is really important because people nowadays, we find you guys and everyone finds each other just in different ways. You may find us on YouTube and then you'll go to our Instagram. And then, you know, by seeing the same profile photo, it just helps like the end user or the viewer connect the dots and it helps like reinforce your brand or your face or whatever it is that's in your profile photo. So just make sure they're all the same across, you know, all social media platforms and anywhere that you have your headshot, um, like, you know, an email icon as well. My second tip would be to niche down. Your bio, like I said earlier, should kind of be your mission statement. You really want to drill down to what problem you solve or who exactly you are or what markets you focus on or, you know, what niches you focus on. You know, you don't want it to be something vague like storyteller who loves avocados and walks. I mean, that doesn't do anything from a business perspective. People don't necessarily, especially on the brand side and take it from me because I've worked with tons of brands on influencer marketing. They do not want to see that. They want to know exactly who you are. So saying something like an adventure travel blogger that focuses content on the Pacific Northwest or something that's really, really specific, like you could say, you know, travel videographer that shoots in the Caribbean or something that like, and the reason I mentioned the Caribbean right there is because I think geography is like a really great way to niche down to let, you know, the people at the end on the brand side kind of know what area you focus in if, if you do focus in one. The point is, is not being vague. You want to use this as your mission statement, as your elevator pitch, look at it as like a one-liner resume. That's truly how the mindset should be when you're thinking about your Instagram bio in terms of like niching down and being very specific. So if you are in the travel side, for example, if you're a travel content creator, I want a little bit more than just travel. I want you to tell me what's your secondary niche, your third niche, um, and to be really, really, you know, specific 
in terms of what you serve or what value you bring. Now, before I jump into my third tip, because it is a really useful one, I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to add a link below for a free gift to you because I love serving my community and I love giving you guys really good free content. So make sure you check out the link below to get that freebie. So the third tip that is super important and people do not think of Instagram in this way enough, it's using keywords. Now, what does that mean? I know a lot of times YouTubers and bloggers, we focus on keyword research, we focus on SEO and you know making sure we have the right keywords in our titles. Well, Instagram is a place that you can also figure out um, utilize keywords. So how would you do this? Um, a lot of times in the name uh, entry point on your Instagram bio, rather than putting your name, you can put a hashtag or you can put that niche or that trigger word that you want people to search and you want to pop up for. So let me give you an example. For us, for Sidewalker Daily, for a really long time, we're a travel community on Instagram, right? We started off that way and we have developed like a really big community. And what we've done on, instead of putting our name on the top to Sidewalker Daily, Sidewalker Daily, we put our hashtag Sidewalker Daily. Um, and that way when people looked us up, it was immediately, you know, coming straight to the top of the screen. And that's super helpful. And that can be for any, you know, niche or, you know, area in the market that you're in, just put in a certain keyword instead of your name, and that will help drive search. Another tip that I love for Instagram bios, and I did this a lot with my hotel clients and on the client side, is making sure you drive cross promote between other Instagram pages that you're looking to drive traffic to. So for example, that when you put um, an at or a mention inside your bio, it's clickable. And that's important because Instagram doesn't give us that much room to click around. So if you have a podcast or you have, you know, a secondary page that you're trying to drive traffic to, you should absolutely mention that in your bio as a way to, you know, drive clicks to a second page that you're looking to like cross promote and vice versa. So if you're putting all this effort into one of your pages, but you have another page that, you know, maybe a secondary page for your business, or maybe it's your, I don't know, your personal photography page or whatever it is, you guys can use those two pages to like drive traffic to one another. So definitely do not forget to cross promote if you have a secondary page on Instagram and you can do so by adding that app feature in your bio. Now, another way to use your Instagram bio um, strategically and to make it perfect is to really consider your formatting and your emojis. Now, I'm not a really big fan of emojis to be frank. Um, in most, in most places, but I do think that emojis help in the bio as a spacer. So especially if you're using spacing and trying to do one line to one line, the emoji does help the reader like kind of break it up. It's almost like a bullet point. So I think in that case, it's fine to use. Um, and definitely, you know, instead of, it kind of like reflects your branding as well. So if you are, you know, having a bio that's just kind of like a big mess, just like text everywhere. Okay, that's fine, but it doesn't really make you feel polished or, you know, it's so easy to take the time to figure out how to have a good formatted bio. Why not just take that extra effort and put in a little bit more time and show the brands that you want to work with or show your potential future clients like, hey, I've, you know, the formatting is like a reflection of your brand. So for us, formatting is like really tied in with branding. And we really believe in the power of branding and making sure everything looks really top notch and like perfect. So definitely consider formatting and line breaks and spaces to your Instagram bio to help it just, you know, take it to that next level. Now, if you have an Instagram business account, then you're going to definitely want to take advantage of the buttons at the bottom that um, Instagram business accounts let you use. So for example, your contact us button, you can either link a phone number or an email. You can um, link your, you know, your con, not only your contact, excuse me, but like where you're located. Um, it gives you more real estate than a non-business account. So you should definitely be using these buttons and like, so to speak, or like these little like pushable, clickable placeholders um, at the bottom of the bio to help drive your business. And another tip that I would 
absolutely recommend to everyone, whether you're a brand on Instagram or a, you know, your own personal brand, an influencer, content creator, coach, entrepreneur, whatever, is to utilize um, sites like Linktree that let you have multiple links in your bio. This is a game changer. Um, a lot of times, you know, as you guys know, Instagram has not currently allowed us to drive tons of links. You know, when you put an individual post, on Instagram, you can't link it to an article unless you use a third party app like Linktree. And there's tons of others that allow you to, once you click the link in your bio, it shows you all the different types of links. And this drives, you know, traffic. We do it for our personal page. You know, we promote our YouTube videos or our resources or coaching or whatever it is that we're trying to drive link, you know, traffic to you'll find that in the link in bio. So absolutely incorporate a tool like that if you haven't already to help, you know, really maximize your bio as a business tool for you. Another tip that I absolutely love is, you know, using highlights, Instagram highlights, as a really strategic decision in your marketing. Now hear me out. You know, on a website, you have usually like a categories bar, right? And you can, there's like the contact or your articles or your about me, whatever it is that you're trying to promote. It's like literally on a website, it's just like a header. Well, Instagram highlights can be used in the same way. Think about it. If you have someone coming onto your Instagram page for the first time, you're hoping that they click over to your website, but they may just not, right? So why not use your highlights as placeholders and as real estate to drive key messages for your business. So if you're an influencer, probably want to put some past brand work or past client work. So the brands that jump on your page immediately see that highlight and want to click and see what you've done. Or if you're a photographer, you know, you can add portfolio. Anyone should, you know, can put testimonials. If you're a brand, you can show your product or catalogs, whatever it is. And think of it strategically. You're going to, you know, potentially want an about us highlight that tells a little bit about your brand's history or who you are. Um, and not just having arbitrary highlights that are, I guess, random. You guys should really think about them in terms of, you know, strategic placeholders that drive messages that you would want someone that you want to work with to see right away. Because the chances of them going to your website, if they just stumbled upon your IG page, you don't know. And it's just, you know, you're basically, I want to say like, if you're waiting for someone to click over, you may never get that click. So having those highlights is just a really clear way to drive and peak interest a lot faster. And for my last tip um, for this video, I'm going to say that you should probably consider in your bio letting people know your location. So if you're a brand that ships global, you're going to want to let people know that immediately. Ships worldwide or global shipping so that people know like, hey, I'm getting invested in your brand, but I'll be able to, you know, order the products and they're accessible to me. Or if you're an influencer and you work in a certain location or you live somewhere, that lets brands know also off the bat, like, okay, she's based in Florida. I'm a Florida company. This is a great fit versus like maybe if you were based somewhere else, then I would have to research and try to find you and see like, you know, all that stuff. So again, letting people know where you are also at the current moment. If you're a traveler, if you're a content creator, digital nomad, that's super helpful for people on the brand side to figure out like if you know, you're a good fit to work with based on location. So if you made it this far into the video, um, I know that you guys are trying to take your Instagram to the next level that you care about your business that you know, you're investing time into yourself by watching videos like this. So I am going to leave a link below to a group coaching that we do. It's a link to a survey um, and kind of like an application just to learn more about you guys. We're constantly having different group sessions where we have people, 10 other people just like you in your boat, learning and growing together. So I'm going to include that link below. If you're interested, you can sign up there. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to comment, subscribe, um, and I will see you in the next video.